We're here on, t on test with the Fent 516 and we're lucky enough to have Paddy and uh, Sean from Fent who are going to guide us through or give us a, a little bit of an insight into the tractor that we're about to break, to break on test tomorrow with the Bennar disc. So we'll come to you first Sean. Uh, this is a 516 model. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? It's um, 516, 165 horsepower and it's the top of the 500 series range which starts at 125 horsepower and the tractor is aimed at the medium size arable farmer the large larger progressive dairy pro beef operation yeah and it has a profi spec uh, just wanted to ask you a little bit about that what could a, a buyer of a profi spec expect to get on the tractor yeah i suppose there's um there's three levels of specification in the 500 series range we start with a power spec which would be similar in specification to the its predecessor the 400 series um, and then you've Profi and Profi Plus. Um, Profi Plus is the is the highest spec in the Fent range, and that tractor would include a tractor that's prepared for auto steer and satellite navigation and the works basically. Pretty good. I might just come to Paddy here on the nuts and bolts of it. Under the end, under the, the hood here in the engine. Yeah, well, they're using the Deutz engine here. It's tier three B, so it's compliant. I say tier three B and. There is no power boost, as Sean mentioned. It's 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 just one standard power curve in, 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 in the engine ECU. And how does that engine marry to the the, the Vario transmission? Uh, how can an operator get the, the most from this type of a four cylinder rocket tractor, if you want to call yeah. it? Yeah. Well, the technology has been there in predecessor models, but it's basically the TMS tractor management system that would we'll say allows the transmission and engine to work together um, to get the maximum performance. We'll say so. There's Literally, you, you you sit on the on sit on the seat, and you have you can drive it in two modes, either in pedal mode or joystick mode. On the Fent tractor, we have four splits, which are actually not ranges, but they're an increment of how the speed goes up on the Fent joystick. So when we're in split one. It means every push of this lever is 0.2 of a kilometer. If we bring it up to the range up to the top one, up to four, means every push is a kilometre. So you can see the change straight away when we push it forward. The same will happen to bring back down the speeds. It will come by a kilometre. So again, just to have a smooth operation, it's likely we find that it's most likely to drive this in position two. So it makes our increments very smooth, forward and back. Also, if you push this lever fully forward, it will bring the tractor up to the forward speed, pre-selected on the dial. It's just one of the interesting functions on this tractor. Over here you can change it, we're, we're driving on the stick here now, but we can also change it to pedal mode by just pressing this button. So now the stick is obsolete and we press the pedal down here, select our direction of travel. So we're just going to go into reverse and now we're in reverse on the pedal function. Probably for the road work it's ideal to have the pedal function and for most operations. In the field, it may be useful to use a stick for jobs like baling, uh, mowing, where increments of speed can be built up and down. The C1 and C2 function on this are two cruise control settings. So you can see C1 here on the screen has a top speed of 15K and we have C2 set to 39. Now there's an active screen function on this. So if we go back to the home menu, and we can select our speeds here. So just simply press it, turn the toggle, and we can change the value for C1. So we can set it at 15, 16, whatever operation for the field. We also then can set the tractor to its maximum top speed here of 55K. And this will be se selectable in C2. Once selected in C2, push the joystick to the forward, and it will engage the C2 range. We can preset the height here of how, we want to, how far we want the loader, loader to raise. Simply by pressing this button and engaging it, we're going up to 100%, where we've actually set the loader here at 91. So the loader will only go to 91% of its total height, which is a nice function for in working in sheds. We can also set this again by selecting it and bringing down the toggle. So the loader can be set only to rise to 50%. We'll max out here at the red line. 64% and it won't go any further. You can also do, do this for the tilt function 
to stop the forks from coming back in and you can also there's a, a shake function on this loader as well where for tipping out contents the loader will actually automatically go into a shake mode to tip out the contents so again there's a number of functions on it and one really useful one is when we push the loader to come back up I just want you to listen to the noise of the tractor the tractor has increased the revs to give a faster response this function is also available for tipping trailers uh, engaging in a PTO as part of the TM TMS package on the Fent. You saw yourself, you know, it's it's very, very simple. In, it's very in, smooth. Yeah, for, but if you want to take it to the next level and, and further on, there's quite a, a range of uh, functionality there. Very good, lads. Uh, thanks very much.